So I'm here in the dining hall to tell you about something even more interesting than a ball pool, and that is the different landforms that are found along the River Tees in the north of England. So here we go. The source of the River Tees is actually up in the Pennines at a place called Cross Fell. And this is at a place that's about 700 metres above sea level. And the River Tees itself actually drains an area of about 700 square miles. Now up near the start of the river, in the upper course, the main landforms are the V-shaped valleys and interlocking spurs. So the valley sides are really steep. And at this point, the River Tees is just a series of small streams winding through these interlocking spurs. And because we have lots of impermeable rocks, we get quite a lot of surface runoff. So a lot of water running along the surface. And we have steep slopes that this water runs down. Part 3. And probably the most famous waterfall in the UK is this waterfall called High Force. And this is actually found along the River Tees. And it's a huge waterfall, it's about 29 metres tall. And as with most waterfalls, this has formed because we've got a layer of hard, more resistant rock overlying an area of soft, less resistant rock. And in the particular case of High Force, this hard rock is a type of igneous rock known as wind sill. And this overlies some softer rock, and in this case, that's limestone. So that's another major landform along the River Tees. And as we get to the middle course of the River Tees, this is where the gradient of the river starts to flatten out. So the river's less steep and we start to get these winding meanders and oxbow lakes. We get quite a lot of these around a little town called Yarn. And finally, and once we get quite close to the North Sea, where the mouth of the River Tees is, this is where we get to the estuary. And the estuary of the River Tees is quite big actually, and it's home to one of the largest container ports in the UK. And it's obviously really flat, and it's ideal for industry um, of the city of Middlesbrough, which is quite close to this point. And so that's a whistle-stop tour of the major landforms of the River Tees. So if you, got, if you got asked a question about the main landforms along a named example of a river, then now you sorted. That's all for now.